back. But yet, he's still standing there, right about this. If you aren't a huge Muay Thai fan, you've probably never heard of him, but he might just be one of the toughest fighters on the planet. This isn't going to be a technical breakdown admiring the sublime skills of a Femur Nakmoy like Sanchai. Sexan is known as a Moy book fighter, a Muay Thai fighter who always advances and is most focused on aggressive punching and elbow combinations. This fighting style helped him turn into a well-known fighter on the sporting circuit, receiving the nickname of Kom Mei Yom Kom, if I pronounce that correctly. The man who yields to no one. Sexan's style is essentially if he can't be first, he'll be last. You hit him, he hits you straight back again and again and again until you wilt under the pressure of his assaults. Punch, kick, knee, elbow, block, rinse and repeat. They used to call Raymond Decker's Ramon Decker the turbine from hell because of his relentless style, walking himself into range to land ferocious combinations of punches and kicks. But I think Sexan better fits this description. He really is a turbine from hell. As much as Deckers was a very intimidating fighter, he was much more measured with his approach. He'd pick his shots quite carefully and he would throw with excellent technique. Sexan literally throws his bones at people. Even watching him hit the bag makes me wince as I fear for him hyperextending an elbow or hurting himself in some capacity. This is coming from another man who's over the age of 30. <laughs> He is all about inflicting as much damage and as much pain as humanly possible on his opponent in the time frame given. Elbows, spinning attacks, leaping through the air to drive the point of his knee into anywhere he can find on his opponent's body. Sexan is a tornado of offense. Now this isn't to say Sexan doesn't have good technique or understanding of rhythm and timing. He absolutely does, of course he does, seeing as he has been competing in Muay Thai since he was a small child. Sexan started training Muay Thai in a camp near his home at the age of nine. He was introduced to the sport by his father and older brother, who was also a fighter. He's mastered all the basics, and this is why he can now bend them to his will. Like all Thai fighters, he will have been completing the arduous repetition of technique for hours upon hours in his training sessions. After your five to 10 kilometer run, your pad work, your technical drills, you're clinching, you'll then be asked to complete hundreds of repetitions on the bag, focused solely on technique. 300 knees, 50 kicks each leg. This is the Thai way. Repetition, repetition. When you combine this style of training with an active fight career, maybe fighting once or twice in a month, you create machines. By the time a Thai fighter hits 18, the age where you're considered an adult in most Western countries, the Thais are battled hardened veterans. This is a massive factor in the way in which Sexton approaches his fights. He has so much experience and has developed such a tolerance for pain, he can remain composed at all times. Wobbled a little bit here. When he's hit with massive punches or elbows, he's unfazed. He knows his mission objective and it is very difficult to put him off course. He toured away for years, training and fighting his way up the ranks until eventually earning a shot at the prestigious Rajadhan Nern title. To become a champion in one of the major stadiums in Thailand, Lumpini or Rajadhan Nern, is possibly the hardest task, whilst also the main focus and dream of every Thai Nak Moy. And Sexan accomplished his ultimate mission, cementing his legacy in the sport by becoming a Rajadhan Nern champion. I cannot emphasize enough the difficulty of becoming a champion in these stadiums. And that said, the stadiums in Thailand still don't provide the same level of fame and fortune of a sport like boxing or mixed martial arts. If Sexan were to reach the level he reached in Muay Thai in say the UFC, he would be financially set for life. Unfortunately, in Thailand, many former stadium champions go on to work normal jobs after their competitive fighting careers. Just imagine getting into a taxi driven by a 50 year old Conor McGregor. Not only would you be worried about his driving, but the thought that he would end up in that position after devoting so much time into his sport and becoming elite within it, becoming a world champion, it seems unfathomable. Thank you very much. Dana, 60 G's baby! 
That's not the case in Muay Thai, which is essentially an impoverished sport. That is, until more recently, with the emergence of social media and now promotions like One FC, giving the sport a new lease of life and sending it in a completely different direction. One Championship offers a huge platform with millions of eyes watching, and with social media, apps like Instagram, where a fighter can post their lifestyle through the simple click of a button on their smartphone, it gives a fighter the ability to reach a massive audience that simply couldn't have been done 10 years ago. Fighters can now become insta-famous and secure lucrative brands deals that support their lifestyle. Basically, a real life can now be forged through training and competition. For example, Rod Tang, another star within one championship, is reported to earn 300,000 US dollars a fight. Now imagine in the 90s, a Lumpini champion was earning about $6,000 a fight. <laughs> Now given Rod Tang is willing to fight every couple of months for that sum of money, it might not be boxing money and he may never be as rich as Canelo, but that ain't bad at all. One Championship has become notorious for the bonuses fighters receive for good performances and this has fueled action packed contests with the added financial incentive. Rewind to 2020 and Sexton was on a seven fight losing streak. At 31 years of age and hundreds of fights into a career, many might have said for him to retire. Now, fast forward to the beginning of 2024, and he's on a 14 fight and beaten streak, with 12 wins and two draws since May of 2022, and he's currently riding an eight fight winning streak in one championship, fighting with the four ounce gloves. And this has given an old dog like Sexan a new lease of life. He has a why to set him and his family up for a real retirement. Contract into one from Chatri the way he fights seems almost unhuman, yet he still manages to fight almost every other month. How? I don't know. The man must be made out of metal. There haven't been many before him that have brought the level of intensity into a contest as consistently as him, and I doubt there'll be many to come after he's gone. I think all we can do is appreciate him whilst he's still here. When you just go back and look through the archives of his career and how many absolutely insane fights he's been a part of, he's definitely in my Muay Thai Hall of Fame, and I can truly appreciate his style. He's the type of person that reminds us that it's not all about technique. Having an indomitable will, a stubbornness, and a drive to never quit and never surrender can take you pretty much all the way in a sport like Muay Thai. When you look at things like sprinting and powerlifting, sports where it is literally a straight up athletic contest with a clear shelf life because of it, you can't outcraft the man in a 500 kilo dead. but you can in fighting. You can outwill and out persevere another human being. And that is what makes fighting so interesting. It really can come down to who wants it more. And no one seems to more than Sexan. As always, thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and subscribe and feel free to comment down below. Pro striking out, I'll catch you later. โอ้ไปอยู่ครับไปอยู่ครับโอ้ยไปอยู่ครับโอ้ยไปอยู่ครับโอ้ยไปอยู่ครับโอ้ยไปอยู่ครับโอ้ยไปอยู่ครับโอ